Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to this new video and today it's a bit of fun with PrestaShop and Docker. Okay, uh, okay, things just gone very very fast with PrestaShop has been a while since my last video, since my last work on it, but uh, really amazed by how much this uh, platform is developing and the improvement and the amount of hard work these, the teams is putting down. Okay, so before jumping into our video, I would like to announce that I'm working in a new Udemy course that may interest some of you. So I'm building like a basic calendar using Symfony 3, 3.4 to be clear and MongoDB. Um, uh, so far I have uh, five, I think five curriculum ready and I'm still building the stuff. So I'm having like a Symfony setup, MongoDB server setup, a MongoDB audience presentation, and I configure MongoDB on Symfony using that, how to install um, the dependencies needed to connect MongoDB and Symfony together. Okay. Um, yeah, just another course then you can grab it from my channel, which is a PrestaShop 1.7 how to create a theme then you can find the link in the description below okay enough of this advertisement and uh, let's dig into the subject for our video okay docker and prestashop how to do that very easy um the team really put hard work then they created an amazing repo in github uh github.com slash prestashop slash docker and they just told you from a to z what to do exactly uh, so just uh, by the readme file to explain everything you need to know um, the very first thing they saw the list of uh, the different images of PrestaShop where they start from the 1.4 the very old version uh, until the latest 1.744 by the time recording this video maybe a different version in uh, coming days when you're watching this video and a bit down we have uh, like a list of various PHP, um, uh, sorry, um, MySQL server or running PHP environment for Apache or RF, uh, RPM, sorry. So you can just pick whatever um, tag, or whatever option, tag is an option here. Uh, that suits your work and a bit down we found a beautiful command to be executed to spin up everything together and to get a running environment in just like less than a minute and everything should be fine uh, so what is PrestaShop like and that beautiful description about PrestaShop where it's free and open source and all that kind of stuff the important also part or actually the main important part is this little paragraph so uh, this image is running with the latest Apache version in the official PHP repo for database you can use and link anyways any any SQL server related to MySQL we advise 5.6 to for the PS 1.6 and 5.7 for PlayStation 1.7 MySQL I can be used but with a bit of configuration but currently uh, if you do not have MySQL server the most simple way to run it is a container and pickable okay these three command of line are um, uh, coming from heaven <laughs> okay so just docker network create and uh, we'll be creating a network that uh, will be used like um, to, to what is the word to connect or to entangle between mysql container and prestashop container uh, it will be like a cable if you imagine it that way and we create a uh, mysql uh, container and a uh, prestashop container and that should be enough just one thing is missing for this um this uh, like um uh, command uh, or uh, execution is to add the volume to to mount the volume especially when you are in developing a uh, development um stage then you need to edit your prestashop file update test do that stuff then the missing thing is to mount a volume from your host machine to the container okay um yeah okay uh also i would like to mention a very beautiful tool that i'm amazed how good this tool is which is portainer uh all the credit uh, to my teammate that told me about it um 
I'm really amazed. I'll just show you what I said, but what I mean by that. It shows you <clears throat> what? Okay, I think I'm tired. Uh, the starting point is to jump into portaina.io and from there you can just know how to install it and configure it. And uh, I won't dig deep into that, but the important thing that this is it. You are having a UI dashboard to manage your containers, images, network, uh, volumes, everything, which is really, really amazing, amazing. Okay, uh, in my case, I have a, like a lot of uh, images, a lot of containers, and this is the dashboard, the main page that show you the the environment you are you are connecting or connected to. You can connect to a uh, like uh, Azure platform. You can connect to cloud Azure. But if I remember, then I uh, just can manage containers from all over the globe. You know, in my case, I'm working locally, so I'm having uh, what is this? Con three containers, zero stack, eleven volumes, twelve images, uh, like a, a big resume of what you are having it to the machine. Then I'm having what is this? Like four processor something, twelve gig of RAM or something that is not clear actually if I just zoom a bit up I think it's RAM Oof, it's becoming illegal just remove this so this is 4 and 12.5 I don't know what's that and if I just click on that panel then I'm getting more details so zero stack 12 image 6 network three containers of volumes and there you go one of them is running and two are stopped the one of them the running one is actually the portain which is itself a container imagine that um big big thanks to the team that built portainer okay i would like first to do some cleaning because um, i just messed around with this uh, i'd like to remove uh, pretty much all of them uh, okay, except some of, we cannot just remove them. Doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, then if I just go back to containers, I see that I'm having. Uh, okay, mobile first. I won't touch that, and I'm having another one, which is a stop it, but it doesn't really matter. It's just another container. I can just remove it. Just click and hit remove. Uh, remove all that stuff, and there you go. Now. Um, let's start copy paste from github to have our environment running okay what is that just make this bigger that you can see so the very first don't forget to add it sudo docker network create we're creating a network as i said like a bridge just see the word the container and the portainer so we're creating a bridge that will be used between MySQL and Presto Shop. Hit enter, it's ready. Then the next thing is to spin up a MySQL server with 5.7, since we'll be using um, Presto Shop 1.7, as they said, the best version of that suite uh, will that fit actually with Presto Shop 1.7. Okay, just forget to type sudo. Up and running, and now. With a bit of precaution here, we have to be a bit careful. Just paste this out before typing enter. Don't forget to do sudo. And somewhere here between these parameters, uh, okay, just have to plug because in three to four minutes, my 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 computer will be down. I and I don't want to record this video again. Okay. And plug it. And we did save our lives. Call for another day. Okay, so as I said here, I'll be mounting um, the volume. Actually, it will be the main folder I'm working on. What? Okay, so I'll just type P, PWD. I don't know what that abbreviation will actually mean, but. This is the current directory that will be mounted to this folder var slash HTML, the classic Apache folder 3W. Uh, also, just to reverse 
3w html inside the the container and that should be fine just hit enter and it's up and running now we can just jump to the browser and uh, what is the port we are using 8080 i think okay pretty cool then we do localhost 8080 8080 and okay L link to the database cannot be established prestashop docker okay because why i'm getting this because i was just messing around with this file here okay i was just messing around and as you as, as you see we are already live between the container and the 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 local files of uh, prestashop inside the hosting machine then uh, this is really causing a problem and also i i think i removed uh, the install folder which is another problem then i have just to look for it somewhere uh, I'm not sure where can i find it prestashop nope prestashop ah there you go fortunately it's there uh, all right okay this is a zip file and let me get rid of this where is my folders not to downloads but in home project Press the shop or PHP. Press the shop. And there you go. So right here, we are having, we have to copy, install this folder inside this folder. Uh, all right, I cannot do that. I'm unable to do this because this Presta shop seems to be locked property. Like I don't have permission to manage, uh, change permission for owner, uh, access file, read, write, create and delete files, create and delete file. I'm not sure that this will be allowed. Uh, but here uh, replace 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 all okay then we are having an install folder yep this is it and also have to update the config file since I just uh, messed around with them uh, let's see first if okay if I just do slash install then this may solve me some time. Oh, cannot establish a SQL like a node database prestige. Are oh, we still using it? So, uh, the solution is to. Okay, this is was not part of the plan, but just remove parameters inside um, apt folder. But you cannot because uh, now you need a root access to edit it. And fortunately, I'm running uh, my entelage as. An admin so you can go to app then config then parameters and just rename it or remove it or do whatever I want with it okay and delete yep there you go back to the browser refresh and okay I think we're still having another file that is where is this? Um, for streaming classes, it's inside. Okay, have to copy this parameters inside here. Uh, yep. Copy file. No, whoa, 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 wait a sec. What's this parameter? Where is this file located? Some MySQL. What about getting rid of all this? Admin, new B. Oh, 
root. There's no root. Come on, I just removed this file. Eh? No, just remove it. Okay, refresh. Go to the installation, please. Okay, thank God. Now this is the default installation, PlayStation 1.744. And next. Okay, classic installation. Next. Uh, just do some stuff the easy classic way your name uh, email address password I'm not sure what is it but anyway and there you go so time to connect to the database and to uh, to pass this step we need to go back here to um, to the uh, github repo and they they give us some information so they said from a container in the network using some mysql so this will be the address of mysql server and inside here instead of 1.27 stuff just put some mysql the database name i'll just keep it by default precision we can just rename it whatever you want the name of the root or the login will be root and the password will be admin and from where did i get that it's simply written right here so we're having p as an admin oh sorry as a password or and u or dash u or user is a root then if i just test here then he will say that connection is succeeded to the mysql server but database does not exist and uh, we have two or three options. The very first and easy option is just click right here on this button and just in a like, fraction of a second we'll have an active created database. Also exploit the tool, the power, one of the beautiful features uh, inside this uh, portainer, which is you can run or you can connect to uh, a, a container and then execute um, any command inside it. So in my case, let's pick some MySQL, MySQL server, and pick bin slash bash and connect. And in a second, you will have a console active inside the container. Okay, elsewhere, you can just do like a docker exact the name of, uh, of the container. Okay, let me just see if I do uh, remember sudo exact exec okay slash bin slash bash inside uh i have to see the name but let me just hit under sudo exec command that file sudo sudo docker sudo docker exec require at least two argument docker exec okay so first of that i need to know the name of the container so docker ps then just reduce a bit to see that 5c0 and i will do again the same command docker exec and 5c0 no such container ah yeah i just reverse the bones uh docker there you go wait a second whoa whoa i think you forget this docker exec bin bash Um, bu, bu, bu. Uh, what is the word exactly? So docker exact dash e dash t the name or container name and the bin bash. Okay, so docker exact dash e or dash t dash e the name of the container then bin bash and welcome back. Just I would like to know what the heck is dash e interact interactive and flag uh, keep sdd input and t to allocate a terminal very well and now from there i can just do wait what am i now oh i uh, just connected to the wrong um to the wrong <laughs> containers here yeah. 
Okay, I have to just to do exit and to connect back to the other container, which is my SQL. Uh, this one AB, one AB, up and running. So if I do my SQL dash u root dash p admin as a password and up there you go. So if I do show data I cannot get go to complete here databases then the classic um, MySQL databases uh, and I'll do a create database and I'll call it PrestaShop Docker okay just make sure that I copy this that I can use later okay there you go let me just recheck that everything is fine PrestaShop Docker is there now I can go back to my installation process and inside the database name I will do this retest again everything is fine next and proceed with the installation of uh, the classic installation that will take almost a minute or two I'm not sure how much um, and there you go so now we will be able to communicate and to work uh, from the host machine and project the work or watch it uh, inside the container and we'll be able to have a good time with it okay um, what shall I do until it finish uh, right. Uh, however, if you want, let's read a bit here. Uh, however, if you want to customize the container execution, are or there are many available options. So PS mod, um, post host mode, dev da da da. So to pass them or to configure them, you you can just do this dash e. I think it means dash environment. Hopefully, dash e. That should be an environment because also we are defining here my SQL root password. Uh, you can just define all these uh, attributes, which is amazing. Okay. Uh, also, if you download uh, PrestaShop from from PrestaShop.com, you will get Docker Compose file. Let's jump into it for a second. Uh, I believe that the size is enough. Let me just make it a slightly bigger. Okay, font size. Come on. Appearances, fonts. Uh, where is it? Font. Okay, that's a uh, fourteen. That could be better. Let's go for sixteen, even. Okay. There you go. So uh, we are using the volume, the version two of. Docker Compose. I think uh, the, normally I work it with version 3, but anyway. Um, the volumes, we're defining three volumes here for vendor var and db data. We are having three, how much service? Just two of them, two services. Uh, one is MySQL, the second is Apache. So MySQL from uh, MySQL 5 the port, the default one, then we are mounting uh, the volumes. So volumes that will be hosting my SQL file from the container to like uh, to the host machine, the environment we are defining my SQL root password, my SQL database, the restart always. Uh, I think it's missing. Ah, yeah, there you go. So it's dependent. I actually added this, but it's broken, so it won't work because it must be uh, an array. So, uh, in my opinion, um, okay, this is, I think it should be this way because this Apache depend on my SQL to run properly, else why it will be broken. In my case, oh, in my opinion, that's why I added depends on. So Apache depends on my SQL and it uh, depends on this service then the container name is prestashop get you can just call it whatever and the image that we'll be using is prestashop slash prestashop dash git uh, the, with the flag or the tag 7 the environment we are defining some uh, environment parameters 
and the ports is 80 and one uh, 8001 mapper to the 80 default one the volumes we are mapping the current folder this one the current uh, directory to var slash uh, then delegated then the vendor to var slash da 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 uh, there you go that makes sense then restore to always and this could be uh, another way to spin up PrestaShop. And now if we we'll go back to see the installation, okay, no required. Uh, cannot download the language pack. I don't care about language, just you can no, 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 installation. Start true. Uh, okay, creating a file, creating a table. Let's watch uh, select use PrestaShop docker show tables there you go so he did create tables and uh, as you may see uh, prestashop start becoming a bit heavy in terms of uh, tables 211 table which is really huge and let's hope this won't broke down again but I think the main point of this video or the main subject uh, is Richard is to uh, boot up uh, okay crap is that is to boot up PrestaShop from Docker and to connect it to my SQL server and um, what's happening now is weird create default shop language in order to cure during installation does it need any like network or something I'm just disconnect that may be causing problem cannot download language package don't download it for sake of god another recurs cannot download um okay i think this will keep just uh repeating itself i won't make this video more longer uh hopefully you uh you learn you saw how to do docker with prestashop uh, I would like to thank you for watching and thank you for being here and the next video I will be answering an email from uh, from one of uh, my followers I would like to thank him he's from Iran he just contacted me uh, like a couple of days ago he had a problem with PrestaShop 1.7 he would like to add a new fill to the product page uh, okay there you go so this is the email from Kevin Tahantur, I would like to thank you, man, uh, and thank you for the fine, kind words. He said that uh, thank you for your videos; they are really great and helpful for everyone. And he had a question: I want to add a new field to admin, add a new product form, and update. Okay, that did crash again. Uh, and update the database from those fields, new columns added to. Okay, just uh, understand what he meant. He'd like to add it like new custom shell to product in PlayStation 1.7. Normally the next video will be the answer to it. And um, yeah, uh, thank you. And see you in another, in, see you in another video. Yep, it's time to get asleep. Ciao.